we stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs, so that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are... Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18111 9 Area 18-5. that number Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18 Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, 
The thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Time, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick you! Yeah. Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we hide around. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Wow, that's share, some I distance. I wonder how long it will take. Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the wings. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Hello there, Artyom. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. Eh, well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Ah, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory and homemade too. Well, hello there, Toast. Amazing. Two people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Bill Zabob was a better name. <laughs> uh, well, help yourself. Because, frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's the winter. <laughs> if only you didn't have to pay for this comfort later, with your whole body aching. I heard that monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's not a lie. I do feel this calm, you see. What says it's uh, dynamic meditation? That philosopher doesn't come here to meditate too often, though. That's all? Okay, I'll take it from here. You should at least get some of that fresh air. No mask. This is what you've always dreamed about. 
I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, it's all right. So, dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, I am a friend. I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stunken otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones. Was the air bitter then? Who knows though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building, or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what drink is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well, bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. Still, I would like to know what's on the end of your chain. to earn my pardon. I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So we'll go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. After all those years in the underground, 
The air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Rose, anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! <laughs> Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. Gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Let's go, Artyom! Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. Artyom, yes, sir. It's a backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Ah, that was great. Hey, what was that? 
Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go.
Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay?
father, Salantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons shielded. And welcome! here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our child is trying to get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Where is that parent? It's seen by both during the sermon. And then what? And then what? And then and before father snake his head, the man was sent by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know what father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just cut his hand. I see. Right. Come on, you dirty spawn of Satan! Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Have you seen the heretic sister? Of course I did, that heathen. <laughs> so you have seen him? We can't even look at them. Father Sawanti has forewarned us about it. If you look at them, you will see such a mouth. And such a station that takes a hundred days of fasting to erase. So did you see him or not? I don't get it. So, brethren, have you found the heretic? The demon spawn is still hanging! We have to find him, my children! Nastiel, I do you. We didn't kill anybody. Her father, he went to fight a demon and died. Tell him, Kuzma. Yes, he went after a demon. And we have many orphans like her here, so please let us be. Confess your sins, and that will count in your favor when the judge... 
message. I order you by the name of Holy Celentius himself. Come out and let the crew face purify your If they say you worship the devil, is that true? Will you teach me? I'd make a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come on, teach me. Good job, Artyom. You're like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. Though I've got to take Katya and Nastya to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight there from your position.
What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to the catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. at home here now since we're alive the bridge seems like a nice place at least it's not going to get flooded we might end up going to moscow by rail later well we'll have to live and see about that
Where's Artyom? Back from the abyss of NATO You're alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped the place. So we need to look for you. for you. And then Anna picked us up. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. Then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Artyom, uh, Katya, I took some Katya. measurements. Come There's one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The regions are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. <laughs> Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit. Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down as sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worse. Well, this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator, after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. <laughs> you know? Though, I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. I haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the Embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching. When shit hit the fan? Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Thank you. How do you so, like the backpack? Uh, yeah. Is it... Comfortable? Can you, you operate stealthily from? with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it.
the southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey.
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers never have a chance against them. You 
You just cut through them, блядь. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running, Willie. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their <laughs> tarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. And this is where I live. Not a palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away from me. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. How bad they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> uh, you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. But this, oh, that's another story, though. Take these ugly looking bastards from earlier, for example. One of them, it's nothing, but 
You come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Ooh, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently? I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there, bled, waiting for somebody. But I know they are bad news, you know? They just say people started going missing when the bandits come. Now you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. No, you could take the zip line down, just hook up and uh, away you go. Well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead, I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at the train.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
It's good I can't found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? 
No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <laughs> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. back help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us Artyom I am feeling better now really I am so Sam tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when when we see it Nothing like that around here. You have yet to see anything even remotely. 